Developers, I have some bad news and some good news. The bad news first. We're living in a post Elden Ring world now. If you make a Souls-like game, it's going to be compared to FromSoft's masterpiece. It's not good enough to just be a Dark Souls knockoff anymore. Here's the good news though. If you can give us a decent Souls-like with something other than a high fantasy setting, well, there's room for that at the table. So where does Dolman sit? At the table with the grown-ups or not? Dolmen is an action RPG with self-described Lovecraftian elements. Sure, there are some insect-like, grotesque monsters with lots of appendages and a creepy vibe, but invoking old HP Lovecraft is a bit of a stretch. Dolmen takes place on the distant planet Revion Prime. You're sent there to check out a drilling operation gone south. Your task is to piece together the puzzle of what happened, kill a menagerie of monsters, and collect some dolmen. Dolmen is a super valuable crystal MacGuffin that can facilitate all sorts of miraculous things, like dimensional travel and curing male pattern baldness. It's totally definitely nothing like Spice from Doom. You don't get to see too much of Revion Prime topside, but you do see a lot of underground mining tunnels and much bigger lab areas with lots of science and technology looking stuff, most of which is shadowy set dressing. There are lots of enemies whose sole purpose in life is to kill you. Now and then the game highlights some crates and barrels for you to smash. Like Dark Souls, there are shortcuts and secret areas to find. Ultimately though, there's nothing very remarkable about Dolman's level design. If you've played Alien, Dead Space, or any one of a dozen space horror games, you've seen similar levels. Let's talk about story. For many people, FromSoft games like Elden Ring have a densely opaque narrative. However, it doesn't stop them from enjoying the experience. Dolman's story is far less poetic or mysterious. We won't spoil it here, but if you guess that maybe it's about Dolman having unsuspected power to interdimensionally spawn monsters or something, well congratulations. Dolman lifts the vast majority of its mechanics directly from Dark Souls. Light and heavy attacks, dodging and rolling, stamina management, limited healing, corpse runs to collect drop loot, bonfire like checkpoints. If Dark Souls did it, Dolmen probably does it too. Its one innovation is that instead of Estus Flask, you have batteries. Battery power is the source of ammo for your ranged weapons, and your ability to heal. So you have to decide if it's more important to tend to your wounds or refill your ammo. When you die, your timeline is erased, and you have to restore it before you die again. Enemies respawn when you die or recharge at one of the game's two widely spaced radio beacons. It's Dark Souls 101. Just like in the early Souls games, recharging your battery takes forever and leaves you open to attack. At some point, From Software realized that it was a pain in the ass for the player to return to home base just to craft or level up. But Dolman didn't get that particular memo. That means you have to teleport to your orbiting ship to do everything. Once you're there, you need to hit the various crafting stations located on several floors of the loneliest, most generic looking spacecraft ever. One machine allows you to level up, another upgrades your gear, another one lets you respawn the area's bosses just in case you want to grind for cash. It all just seems so artificial and unnecessary. This is future sci-fi. If Elden Ring's uneducated medieval bumpkins can craft kit out in the field, you'd think our distant relatives from the future could also. Dolman's weapons and the classes that use them are pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Sci-fi versions of souls like swords, clubs, and axes, wielded by tanks, rogues, and quality builds. Though there is ranged weapon class, everyone has access to pistols and rifles, which shoot elemental based ammo. Naturally, enemies are weak to fire, ice, or acid, and you can switch between elements and a couple types of melee weapons. There are a couple of oddballs like chainsaw swords. Despite them being largely futuristic iterations of standard fantasy weapons, most of them are fun to use. 
the upgrading crafting pages are kind of a mess. That said, creating a viable build to your flexible preference is possible. While the weapons are varied, combat encounters are less creative and in need of balancing. All the usual Dark Souls suspects make an appearance. Low level enemies that can mess you up, seemingly impossible bosses, mini bosses with a specific weakness, and biomechanical fast moving dogs. If you hated them in Dark Souls, you'll hate them in Dolmen. But here they have a death cry that is both comically odd and annoyingly long. I mean, it goes on for several seconds. As in every self-respecting Souls-like, enemies drop upgrade materials and other loot, much of which is a variation on minerals, bits, bolts, and batteries. The loot has arcane names that mean nothing outside the game's upgrade or crafting interface. Then again, Dark Souls has often been guilty of this too. Dark Souls character creation tools have evolved into something special, but Dolmen turns back the clock. At the start, you can play with armor colors and some basic stats, but you'll never see your character's face or hear them beyond the game's repetitive combat sounds. The result is a player character that is particularly anonymous and bland. There isn't much voice acting in Dolmen. The story is told via an unseen radio voice and environmental items conveniently dropped for your perusal. It's all lacking the touch of a real writer with narrative chops. Dolman's graphics and overall art design are serviceable, but lack originality. At best, repeating tropes that we've seen in games and films for many years. At least in the review build, Dolman is beset by all manner of bugs, in particular frame rate killing slowdowns that turn the game into a slideshow. A day one patch might address some of these, but be warned, Dolman is still technically pretty rough around the edges. Despite its sci-fi setting, Dolmen is less a Souls-like than a Dark Souls clone with very few original ideas. The biggest issue, beyond the overall familiarity of just about everything, is that it brings back annoying mechanics that games like Elden Ring have evolved away from. While there is some fun to be had in Dolmen's weapons and combat, at some point, you'll just wish you were playing a FromSoft game instead.